for the purpose of this video, that one isn't, but we'll pretend it is for the purpose of this video. Not that one, we'll come to that one in a minute, but this one here, okay? It's not, but for this video, it is, right? And about four years ago, I did a review of the Made in India 300 Spartan Shield about four years ago, as I've said. Um, problem with it was, it's only a 26 inch diameter shield. It was brass on steel. Um, it served its purpose as a decorative item because you very rarely get a full size three foot one. Um, only two companies made the full size Spartan Shield that's commercially available. One was Nika or Necker, who did a fiberglass resin one. And the problem with it is it's fiberglass resin. And if you know your Necker or Nika 300 Spartan helmet, they don't take much rough handling. And if you hang a 1700 quid Nika 300 Spartan shield on your wall and it falls off the wall, you end up with a 1700 pound jigsaw puzzle. That's what they cost, and that's what they still cost, £1,700. If a Nike or Neca one is going to turn up for sale, it's going to turn up for sale, strangely enough, in Germany. All the ones that were made available years ago, they all sold, so no supplier actually has them in stock anymore. In my opinion, it's not worth the money. The other one that they made full size is this one, the Windless Studios version. Now, if you remember when I did the the Windless Studio 300 Leonidas helmet and compare it to the Nika one, the Windless Studio one is far superior. If you saw one of these Windless Studio ones and compared it to one of those Indian made brass on steel ones, that one is the far superior one. Anyway, and this is where I'm getting to the point of, we'll pretend this is for the video, but it isn't. The original brass on steel one, the Indian made one, I sold a couple of years ago. I replaced it with a kind of similar size one in resin for display which was this one and again this one is not full size not happy with this one I always want the full size one now if you search eBay for a 300 Spartan shield the chances are and this is where I say we'll pretend this one is one the chances are you will find one this size 26 inches diameter and it will be one of those made in India brass on steel ones if you type into your eBay search 300 Spartan Shield, you will get one this size. It looks impressive when there's no human to compare the size of it, but when you see it next to a human, it's not really movie accurate in any way at all, regards to the size of it. So that's really your only option. Um, the other full size one, as I've mentioned, is the Windless Studios one, which is brass on steel just like the Indian ones but it's a full three foot diameter and it weighs about seven pounds um, I bought this one from a private individual for 200 pound about three or four months ago currently as this video goes up I did it in internet search and these the 300 um, cape and a few hundred 300 bits are available from the UK supplier Southern Swords um, Southern Swords apparently is the UK supplier of Windless Studios items. Currently, as this video goes up to YouTube, the full size three foot shield is available from Southern Swords, but it's going to cost you £287 plus postage, so it's going to take you around about £300. But in comparison to the Nika one, that is your better bet because it can take up to more rough handling. Um, I got this one. And to be honest, it is the best one on the market. Like I said about the Windless Studios Leonidas helmet. So I'll, t I'll see if I can get this off the wall and we'll do a comparison between the typical eBay brass one, even though it isn't, but it's the same diameter. As I say, we'll pretend for this video that this one is the Indian one and the full size uh, Windless Studios one. And like I said, this one cost me 200 pound from a private individual. I never ever thought I would ever get a full size 300 shield it became available and I bought it but since then I found out that they are available currently from Southern Swords at 287 pound plus postage if you're in the UK 
So do have a look on Southern Swords website because there are quite a few 300 um, licensed bits and pieces still available from them. So we'll get this off the wall and we'll see if we can do a bit of a comparison. He said. Now, the 301, like the Spartan helmet, comes with a little bit of blurb and a kind of certificate of authenticity. And it's kind of where you're. Right. I'm going to take both of these a little bit backwards so you can see these in comparison. The Indian made one is kind of like like that okay that's the that's the diameter of the indian made one typical ebay one that you find for about 80 to 100 quid yeah looks good but next to a human it's not full diameter no in comparison the windless studios one is is kind of that big it's full hello it's full three foot diameter and it's really movie accurate it's brass on steel it's fully lined inside it's got your or well, put it on the chair and we can have a look your hand grips so it is the better choice for the money um, seven pounds in weight current price southern swords 287 pound if you're in the uk so we'll put these side by side and we'll take a little look at them. so okay so that is your typical ebay size sometimes they'll be gouged and battle worn sometimes they'll just be normal steel on brass but that's your ebay size one and in comparison that is the full size windless studios version ebay windless studios now the back of your typical ebay one is like that and the back of your window studios one is like that this particular one still retains the window studios tag the windless deco and this first bit is leather bolted in place this second bit again is leather but it's more of a handle than a strap and again securely bolted in place and it's got this rubberized lining all the way down it the Indian one is usually made for a right hander if, if you see the video of my indian one the in the film the the chevron is that way up in the film okay now on the indian ones for the shield to be worn in the left hand the chevron is actually upside down it's the wrong way up when you wear the shield in the left hand with these Indian ones, which means that you have to change over the hand grips inside. So do bear that in mind. And also what you need to bear in mind is that the company that makes the Made in India swords, swords, the company that makes the Made in India shields also uses photographs of the windless studio shield on their sales lists 
So sometimes you see one of these for sale and it shows you the inside of the Windows Studio ones. But when you read up on the diameters, what you're actually getting is that size. So do bear in mind the Indian company has a habit of using pictures of that on their sales lists. But anyway, that's the comparison between the two. I was asked to do a, a comparison of the windless shield. So that's your typical eBay one from India. That's the windless studios one. And in that size, Nika or Nika also did one, but it's in a resin composite material, which doesn't take any rough handling at all. So if you can find one, I don't know whether they're available worldwide, but worldwide, if you can find one, the Windless Studios one is the better option. And as I've said, if you're in the UK, the Shield, as you've seen it there, is available currently from Southern Swords. £287 plus postage. And fair enough, I only paid 200 for this one. But it is far, far the better choice. It's better made and it is completely full size three feet diameter as opposed to 26 inches